YouTube, what's happening? Here we are, back again with another video, not really knowing what the fuck it is we talking about or what we're going to talk about. But we're just going to put a video up and we're just going to start recording videos on the drive, on the ride, on the walk, on the cut, in the shop, outside, smoke breaks, all that other type of good stuff. Nonetheless, I think the primary uh, purpose and reasoning for me to do the YouTube videos and record the YouTube videos is for education, educational purposes. You know, I'm going through this whole learning and building and discovering this, this, this credit thing, you know, and as I'm learning it, I want to put it out there. Everything that I've learned, I've applied, and it's been working out, it's been happening, like how it should be happening, so I figured I might as well put it on a platform where you can get it for free, because once it gets to a certain point, then of course it comes merchandise, it comes, of course it comes product, of course it comes different links and shout outs and descriptions below and all that other type of good stuff. So, before I move any further, let me just say this. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. I'm going to start posting more and more YouTube videos. I'm not going to say I'm going to do it every day. I am going to say I'm going to start posting more videos. So I would like the support of my colleague and my YouTube world and the friends and followers. Okay, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that you know every time I post a video. So without further ado, this is about credit, the importance of credit, what you need to know, what you need to do, how to go about applying for it, knowing what to apply for, you know, when you have a reason for it, you find yourself becoming more and more educated in it, you find yourself more and more enthous enthusiastic about it, and a little more passionate once you get the going. Right now, I know it sounds complicated, sounds complex. That's some stuff that we don't need to know about. My parents told me about this a long time ago. It don't do nothing for you. Just ruins your life. You know, messes your credit up. You'll never be able to get out of debt. Those are all false allegations. Let me tell you that right now. Those are all false allegations, okay? We've been taught cash is king. You want to go buy a car, buy it in cash. That way, if they ever come and take the report, then you know what I'm saying? You always have a car just in case. When your credit is right, when you're responsible, you don't worry about stuff like that, see? Only certain type of people are able to lease a car. Not everybody can lease a car, you know what I'm saying? They don't have the credit to do so. So not everybody can do it, you know? And if everybody could do it, everybody would do it. And they should do it. But they're so confused and caught up and, and, and stuck on what, what people say as far as, yeah, that ain't gonna work, this ain't that, that ain't this, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so forth. When in reality, what's it hurt? You know, especially when for the most part it's free to inquire, it's free to obtain. You know, it don't hurt nothing when you ain't paying for nothing. I understand when you put your money on it and you put your money into it, then this is how we know that you're serious about it because nobody wants anything for free. It feels like you're begging. It feels like you got your hand out. But when you're living in a society that says this is how you operate, why work harder? Why spend unnecessary money? You know, the convenience. Why? When you can conveniently use their money. It makes sense to me. I'm just saying. You know, if I can use somebody else's money to get to the next level of life that I'm trying to get to, then why not do that? You know, why keep battling uh, uphill battle? You know, when you got weights on, you got stuff on your shoulder, you got bags on your back, you carrying so much stuff uphill because you don't know. You don't know. You know, you chasing after the money, you chasing after the bag, you chasing after the success, you chasing after the, you know, six, seven figures in your bank account, you chasing after all of this good stuff. Wondering why you ain't got it yet. Could it be you ain't got it yet because you're chasing the wrong thing? Are you chasing your passion? Are you chasing your dream? Are you chasing your vision? Because with all of these things into play, the money starts to chase you. That makes sense? So chasing after the money, you'll never catch it. When you start to chase after your vision, your dream, your passion, 
you start to pursue what's in your heart that you know is going to work out. The money starts to chase you. You're going to get to a point in life where you start to outrun the money. But it's just going to keep chasing you. You're not even going to have anywhere to go. And it's just going to keep chasing you. It's going to keep coming. This is what happens when you change your mindset. When you decide that you no longer want to chase the money, the money then starts to chase you. Story, example. You ever uh, had a pet? For those who don't have kids, or even you can correlate this to having kids. There's this one time, right? You know, your baby's playing, or your animal is playing, and everything's fun and dandy. And then you tell the, the kid or the pet to come on and let's go. And the more you run toward it, the more it runs away from you. Right? It's when you stop chasing that animal or that child and you start to go to where you're going, whether that be the car, whether that be in the house, you then notice that that pet or that child then turns around and starts to chase you. Same concept in the society that we live in. When you're chasing the money, it always runs from you. Always runs from you. When you get firm and turn around and head home, the money then starts to chase you. That makes sense? I'm pretty sure a lot of people can attach to this and agree with this because this is universal law. Don't believe it, try it. You got kids, go play with your kids. Let them run around free. Just, you know, keep chasing them and tell them to come on. Come on back, come on back. But keep keep chasing them while telling them to come on back. See if they happen. See if it happens for them. See if they turn around and come back because you're saying come on back while chasing them. It is when you stop chasing them and turn around and head toward where you're going. Do they then turn around and follow you? Same concept with this money. As long as you're out here punching the clock and chasing a check and chasing a bag, it'll always run from you. It'll always run from you. You're getting exhausted. While it's just running from you growing. When you turn around and say you're no longer going to chase it while telling it to come here. When you turn around to go after your, 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 your vision. When you turn around to go after your dream. When you turn around to go after your passion. is when the money then turns around and starts to chase you. Now, this is just, you know, like I said, one of the beginning of the videos. Do forgive the background and all this other type of stuff. I'm not sure how good the camera quality is because I am using my smartphone. Shout out to Samsung. Though they haven't given me a sponsor, a partnership, or no shit like that. Shout out to Samsung because I only really fuck with Samsung. As you can see, here's another one. Samsung. You see that? You see that? You see that? I only really fuck with Samsung. I don't like apples and shit like that. So, you know, they got this whole little camera this, camera that, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like I said, I do apologize if this isn't the clearest video, uh, if there's too much background noise and things of that nature. Nonetheless, you know, uh, I just want to bring this video. Just wanted to share a little bit, you know, because after this, you know, we're going to do more videos and then we're going to start talking more in depth and more in detail about how to go about getting credit, holding credit, using credit, you know, leveraging credit, things of that nature. You know, so, um, again, get this video a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're aware every time I post a video, because I guarantee you, all of my videos, you're going to get something from. You're going to get something from. I'm going to drop a nugget on every video. I'm going to drop jewels on every video. So, Please subscribe, share, comment, like, hit the notification bell, tell your friends about me, tell your family about me, tell your loved ones and co-workers and anybody that are here about me. There's a link that I'll be putting in the next video so that you all can go right to this in which I'm talking about. You can check out my Instagram page, you can check out my Snapchat, you can check out my Facebook page, okay? Facebook, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. 
don't have a Twitter yet. I'm um, thinking about getting one. Y'all let me know if I should get a Twitter and the content in which I should put on there. All right. Until the next time.